Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be trying out a new cable uh, and see if we can get hole through to our one petabyte of storage and um, yeah I know that no one has been able to sleep for a week because this is so exciting I hope probably not but um, I purchased a cable on Amazon I got a lot of suggestions on the last video of why this uh, wasn't working um, and some suggestions were better than others and one of the suggestions that I think might be happening is that and I, I think I also said it in the video that I think that the the Hewlett Packard storage dash is not um, talking nicely to the NetApp dash so the idea was to let the the storage controller see the dashes directly so one cable would be going to the Hewlett Packard dash and one cable from the storage adapter to the NetApp dash is but I didn't have that cable and um, <laughs> Now I think I have. So let's see this weird cable here. So this is a mini, mini SAS cable QSFP to S, SFF-8644 cable. It's um, it's right there. I don't know if it's focusing, but it's a yeah. They were kind of expensive, so I had a look around and found the. The cheapest one I could get. I wanted a two meter one. It was only available in one and a half meter. I hope it is enough. It has a weirdly nice smell to it. I don't know if they have um, put perfume on this cable, but it helps. I'm sniffing it. So, yeah, let's get it out of the bag. <laughs> Weird. Um, so it, it looks like this. It has a. Uh, apparently, that is a uh, SFF8644 connector, and this one is a QFTP. Kind of says the same thing on this label here. So, yeah, we're gonna try and put that in. And I booted the server in the background, multitasking. I believe this ended up costing me a little bit over 40. Uh, euros uh, including shipping so uh, expensive but I got it rather fast so I uh, uh, hope that's enough I think so I hope so let's check that out so just an overview of what is going on this is the awesome Lenovo X3650 model 5 it has an um, a rate controller which uh, uses those 12 gigabit uh, connectors those square ones that was last time connected to this uh, 70 drive NAS down here. Oh, oh not NAS, DAS. Oh. Which has 70 drives inside. I didn't actually show this. I probably should have because I don't show this every time. It has been, it has been sucking in some dirt. That's not great. I don't like that. So, but there's room for 70 drives in that and then I have over here I have the net apps and that is two boxes with 24 drives in each so um, yeah a total of 118 drives if my calculations are correct and I believe they are oh this one has 10 terabytes and that one has 12 terabytes and over here we have a combination of 10, 12s and 3 terabytes. So, because of space limitations around the back here, I have just plugged in the cable. And we'll go back here and see. So, up here, uh, we can see uh, I, need, I need two hands. And I need to be able to see what I'm showing you. So, I plugged the cable in the server here, just using one of the ports. Then it goes down here along the side. It's not cable managed at all. And it goes in to the top one down here. Uh, top one. So, um, yeah, we just want to see something come online. 
then when I popped it in on the back there, I did get a, a link status uh, that there was a, there was a link between that it was seeing something in the other end. So I'm gonna be locking in. And we're gonna see what it uh, what it sees. Exciting updates available. Oh, yeah, it does not see that. Ah, it only sees six drives, two enclosures. That's the internal stuff. Am I on the right controller here? All of these are internal SSDs in the front of the server. Hmm. Okay, I'll have a look at this. Oops, that was embarrassing. I've been messing around trying to find the drives. And uh, yeah, I updated the server here and I rebooted. And um, I went on the back of the system and I moved the connection in the, in the controller of the dash on the NetApp. Uh, it's the DS4243. And I've removed that to another plug on the back there and then suddenly I get 24 drives here. All the 3 terabytes, they have some some yellow thingies uh, besides them. So maybe they are configured in some way. Mm, not sure yet, but we could probably start a disk manager and maybe that will show us. I forget if if these turns up in disk manager or if I need to configure them before they do so they do not okay so let's the first three terabyte with this yellow exclamation mark uh, manage let's try and see if we can initialize it uh, does not pop up as a drive that we can initialize that's unfortunate Hmm. But now that we have whole through, uh, are seeing something. I wanna, I wanna connect the next one. So we need a, uh, a QSFP to QSFP. This is. I think this might actually have come with the box. No, this isn't. Uh, eh, I don't know. But I'm gonna borrow one of these. Some of the other cables back in here. Yeah, I'm the kind of person that doesn't throw these cables out. And we get a lot of storage stuff at work. So a lot of these cables are, well, if you buy really expensive storage boxes, cables will be available in every length. And uh, whatever length is not used when they put up the storage system, well, are just left over. Guess who gets those? So this is why it becomes a bit complicated. I have the flashlight sitting here, it's not, it's not doing very well there, but we have this cable, that one that I'm pulling, uh, going in. So we need, you can see there is four controllers in these, and uh, two of them are popped out. They're not in use, I have popped them out to uh, limit the power usage. Uh, so I'm gonna be connecting it to the to the next one down here so let's see if we can manage that pop that one in come on there it's safe click and then let's pop it in ah, not easy it would be a lot easier if I had both hands and didn't have to film, but then it wouldn't be any fun, would it? So, I now... Maybe we just got a lot of drives, or maybe I have to recable this. And uh, it's a lot more fun when it's when you actually have some kind of connection through it. So now we can go see if we got a whole bunch of new 3 terabytes. So, let's see... What we have... We have now 54 drives, so I guess that's a yes. <laughs> so we have 48 drives, 
from the dashes and we had six SSDs already so physical we should have a whole bunch of three turbo oh it gives us a new storage dash there as well ds 424 i o m3 hmm you see that there and there is a whole bunch of three terabytes in that awesome 24 of them so with uh with whole food the other one i think we should try and turn on the hewlett packard nas and uh, we are behind here because it says a, a very nice sound when you turn it on wait for it very cool right so i just connected the cable to the uh, to the hewlett packard dash and uh, you can see that it's it's finding a whole lot of stuff here so i'm guessing that the drives are popping in let's try and go to the to the dashboard if we are allowed that there now we have six enclosures and 124 drives that actually adds up i said that um, i would have 118 drives and there is like six ssds in the server itself they are here uh one two three oh one two three four five six so that adds up uh, so we have 124 drives here so i am officially at one petabyte even though it's just 936 terabyte um yeah what did i really change last time i tried to do it like this i went from the server that's is that's awesome drawing up here that's the server it has a uh, rate controller actually it has a rate controller on the system board that is then going into a very cool expander card which gives me two connections out the back and it gives me a whole bunch of connections internally as well so yeah uh, two ports out the back and last time I went through one of the D let's see um, this is the D6000 zero, zero, zero. and these are the NetApp uh, DS4243 there and each port went to one half of the D6000 then I had a connection going uh, through the out port of the of the dash down here and over to one of the ds 4243s there are two of those very hard to to draw up here but there are two so this time what i have done is i have taken one of the connectors and that's going down into the first one and then this is going over into the next one there and then I've taken the other one and we have gone over and into the first one here and then that one has gone into the next one here so um, uh, each of the port only having to mess with one kind of dash I think that did the trick um, last time I did not have this sort of good result so nevertheless we, uh, we got somewhere so if we look at the uh, storage controller here uh, I had put up some uh, arrays of uh, SSDs so let's not bother with those but then it sees these first there is 24 drives here we that's a lot of uh, there's, well there are some 12 and there are some 10 terabytes that's all the white ones here then all the yellow ones are 3 terabytes uh, then we go down and all the blue ones here there are 35 which is one of the trays uh, 35 then there's a whole bunch of yellow ones which is all the three terabytes in the other disk enclosure there is 23 but it starts at zero so that's a total of 24 and going down there is the last 35 um, drives in the I think these are 
Yeah, these are 12 terabytes. The ones before them up here was 10 terabytes. And all of these are 3 terabytes. So this might be an ever so slightly short video because it kind of worked. <laughs> uh, and I, yeah, I was expecting it to, but I didn't know how long it would take. One of my big issues is what am I going to use all of this storage for? And I did see that in the comments in the last video where I had my first attempt here. What are you going to use all that storage for? And I must admit, I don't have the faintest idea. Um, I could stand here and tell you that this is for all the awesome videos that I'm producing for you guys. But um, in the uh, previous video this week, I, uh, I looked up and found that uh, in 2022 all of my videos all the raw footage that I filmed together with the, uh, the the edited video and all the pictures and stuff that goes into a video um, all of the videos from 2022 had taken up 1.6 terabytes that is not a lot I'm not Lannis Tech Tip I, I clearly and apparently does not use as much data as they do but I calculated over here that at the, my going rate I have enough storage in this box down here for the next 636 years so uh, I'm not gonna be using that excuse because I don't think you would believe me sorry so um, yeah we are doing this because we can and if you have some awesome suggestions on what I could use a pay terabyte plus for do leave it in the description below i have been uh, chia mining and when the chia price went down through the well not the roof but the, the basement I, I kind of stopped that it was a fun thing to do and i actually need to get my tears off of my server here so that i can use it for something else i did get lucky and catch a couple so uh, yeah, there's a couple of tiers on there. That is also why we're not gonna be deleting drives right now because all of that tier is taking up a couple of hundred terabytes on the Hewlett Packard dash down here. I hope I haven't destroyed anything. I don't think I have. We're not gonna mess with that because they are still there. And yeah, I'll check if I need to take those off and then maybe we'll do something with a petabyte of storage could be interesting so it's working that's great I'll uh, leave the link for the cable that I purchased and maybe um, well I have a lot of these cables so if you need a cable like that you could visit my playhouse shop and uh, at the same time you can support what I do here do stupid stuff like collecting one petabyte of storage I know weirdo so thank you very much for watching my video oh please like this video it worked thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye